All right, topic two. Now we've already, I've already ragged on Khabib. So it's, you know, I'm not done. <laughs> oh, I'm not Tell done. More. So the, the next topic I want to discuss with you is actually about another favorite of mine. And the question is, will Hamzat Chemaev ever be a champion? So I'm, I'm going to have a little go at this first. Now, I rag on this guy a lot, and I'm going to do more of it today. <coughs> uh, <laughs> I think this guy is so overrated, man. Seriously. Now, I, I will say this before I go in. Um, if he was still fighting at 170 and could make that weight consistently, I might have a different point of view. Like, maybe not that different, because I, I, I know you disagree with me on this, but I think that Leon, in particular, has the skill set to beat him. Like, with the takedown defense that he has and you know the way that he strikes but i think at 185 which is basically he's a 185 fighter now i think he's got very little chance of being champion like as we talked about before in one round for that first round he's a monster absolutely unstoppable at times but then outside of that first round there's nothing else to him now i'm going to use the the, the most recent example with his fight with kamaru Mm -hmm. If you're not beating Kamaru In one round And then you get dominated Well not dominated he, In my opinion he lost the next two rounds I don't like his chances against somebody like A DDP Or a Strickland Who have really good takedown defense And have much better cardio I also think that Adesanya Would beat the shit out of him as well Like, I, like Who's finishing Israel Adesanya in round one? I don't think it's ever happened to him in his entire career, and I don't think I don't no, think Hamzat's going to be hasn't. able to do it. I don't see Hamzat doing it. So I know you know you know how I feel about that gender confused individual, <laughs> but like he That's he true. he I would I would say he would I think he would destroy Hamzat in a championship fight. Um, I said it when I started this channel, and I'm saying it now. I'm gonna look directly into the camera when I say this. Hamzat Chemaev is never going to be a UFC champion. Never, ever, never. I'm done. So, you know how I feel about Hamzat Chemaev. I like Hamzat Chemaev. I think that he, at 170, he was an elite fighter. Elite. I think that him, while I do believe that Leon definitely has the tools to beat him. I think that he would give Leon a very 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 difficult fight. Mm -hmm. That being said, I'm not I'm not certain that he can't make 170. I I feel like it's the same as the way people view Manel Cop right now. He missed weight, so now it's like, oh, well he can't make that weight anymore. I don't think it's over for him at making that weight. I think he can make it. Will he make it? I don't know about that. And it's the same for Hamza. If he commits to wake, making it, he probably could make it. But I don't know that for sure. But at 185, like those dudes are big, man. Those are big dudes. Mm -hmm. And his game plan and his way of fighting, I don't know if it translates to 185. And if he's going to stick here and stay at 185, I think that he will have trouble with those people that are ahead of him. You know, some of the people that you named. Um, you know, being being among those, like I think that he'll have trouble, especially if he fights the way that he fought Gilbert Burns, where he gets into a firefight. You can't get into a firefight against DDP. That's hell no. That is a that is an awful idea. That is a terrible idea. <laughs> you know, you will be sleep before the third round for sure. That being 100%. said, I think the biggest the biggest hurdle to him being a champion, and I agree with you, I don't think he's going to be a champion. Unless it's gifted to him. Um, I think the biggest hurdle to him being a champion is the fact that he can't come to the United States. The UFC is not even going to put him in a position to be champion because they can't have a champion that they can't have fight. We can only have you fight over in Abu Dhabi. Like that's not going to work for the UFC. You've got to be able to fight in different places. 
And because of his relationship with Kadarov, like it's going to be a problem. It's just going to continue to be a problem. So I think that that more so than the fighting is going to be the major hurdle to him being a champion. And until that situation is cleared up, I don't think it's even possible. I'd be surprised that if he fights into in the uh, United States at any point within the next three years. Yeah, do you know that's something I didn't even consider. They, because I, because I, I always see him as being somebody who is unfairly thrown into situations. You know, like I feel like it was, it was an inevitability that they were going to give him some kind of opportunity. But you're right. I mean, the circumstances have changed, and and that relationship I think is hindering his ability to. I, I don't think it's been confirmed, but it's. I mean, you know. Yeah. It's not great. Look, is it? like it's, it looks terrible it looks really bad he fights once a year anyway i mean since he he went from being the most active guy mm -hmm. you know it felt like he was fighting every four or five weeks to basically fighting once a year now i'm sure there's there's reasons behind it that we don't fully know or understand yeah but yeah i agree i don't think it's gonna happen for him and that's the thing i don't even dis i don't I'm, i've said this before it's not that i dislike the guy like I might maybe maybe I do a little bit, but like it's just more the fact of I don't like preferential treatment and I don't like people getting mm -hmm. elevated into places that they haven't earned and I don't think he has. I agree with so, that. No, I, I agree with that because that is actually one of the reasons that you know when Ronda Rousey was making her rise or when Conor McGregor was making his rise that I was just like, man, pump the brakes on them. Like they have, I want to see you earn it. You can't have a glaring hole in your game and i see it i see it and mm -hmm. they're like oh you know ronda rousey she can beat men for real i don't think that there's 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 women that she can't beat and here comes amanda nunez and she beats the dog shit out of her holly holm it could have been lucky no it wasn't no it wasn't Neither she wasn't. wasn't that she wasn't that good was she important yeah. absolutely absolutely you can you can't argue that she was a hundred percent important. Was Conor McGregor important? Yes, he was absolutely important. Is he in my top ten all time? No, no, not, not at all. Not no. He's not even close. The only reason he has two belts is because of the eyeballs that he brings to the sport. He shouldn't even have two belts.